Hi everybody, Stephanie Craft here. This video is called Twin Flames, Your Moods, Attitudes, and Timelines. So we all know that when you're on the Twin Flame journey, you are having your moods that are shifting probably several times throughout the day. Uh, moods are changing throughout you know, over a period of days and weeks and months. And so we can have moods that are sad, we can be grieving, we can feel love, um, we can, and this is all in relationship to the twin flame. Our attitudes towards our twin can change throughout the day. We can be in a place of um, unforgiveness, anger, you know, replaying all of the things that your twin did to you that you feel hurt you. And later that same day, you can be in a place of unconditional love, forgiveness, acceptance, and understanding. And these moods can shift throughout, you know, up and down, fluctuating throughout a day, over many days or weeks or months, like I said. Um, and this may be confusing to people because, you know, it's changing all the time. It's ever changing, ever fluctuating. There's a lot to understand in the realm of twins because you're not just dealing with your own person, your own energy body, your own emotional body. You're actually dealing with two. So your twin has their own emotional body, energy body, mental body, and physical body obviously, um, all of the components that make up that person, but because you come from the same soul, everything about them pretty much is inf also influencing you at the quantum level and at all of the levels of your being. I want to talk a little bit too about timelines. So let me talk about um, the earth and the changes that we're experiencing in our lifetime. So we're in the time of the great shift or the great transition of the earth from one density to another. So the vibration of the earth and humanity and our consciousness together as one earth and humanity is rising. So before, um, when we were younger, life on earth was denser. Our consciousness wasn't as open, but as the years have been progressing, we become more spiritual, our consciousness has expanded, and that's because there's been more light and love, light, love, love, light, energy coming to the earth, um, permeating the earth, which means permeating us and causing massive shifts and changes in our bodies, in our consciousness. We've been expanding our consciousness what we've been able to comprehend and understand has expanded. And so now more twin flames are meeting also than before. And that seems to be going hand in hand with this shift. And there's a purpose for that. I don't really know the full purpose, but we can just be observant and see how this phenomena is, is um, something that wasn't as prevalent maybe 30 years ago and prior to that. So because these changes are happening, another thing is becoming apparent in our consciousness. Some people are not aware of this, but I'm going to explain that it's happening even if you're not aware of it. We are constantly shifting timelines. Okay, timelines are vibrationally based and emotionally based. We are the creators of our experience. We emanate our life. We create our life. And so we create it out of the mental and emotional body, but more so um, the emotional body and energy body, less so the mind. In this realm, there are mental worlds where everything is created with the mind. In this 
creation in this world, Earth right now, it, it's a combination of mental and emotional and energetic creation manifestation, but um, it's not solely mind. So there's it's a mixture, but it's highly emotional and energetic in terms of the manifestation of our creation and how we create. So, for example, we, okay, it's a little complicated topic, so uh, I'm just going to let my thoughts come in. For every, uh, gosh, we are, we have parallel selves. So, for every decision that we don't make, there's another one of us in a parallel universe making that alternate decision. So that as a soul, and for this singular incarnation as Stephanie, I can gather as much experience from this lifetime as possible. So if I make one decision to go this way and not this all these other options my another parallel self infinite parallel selves um, exist and are making all these other decisions for that one instance for that one moment in time so there we have timelines okay which are infinite parallel us's <laughs> infinite parallel realities because we are a universe each one of us is a universe so how we are creating our timelines is through our desires our thoughts our emotions and the percentage of energy we're putting down that timeline and we might have a timeline, you know, for a period of time where we really want our twin. We're energizing that timeline. We're thinking about that timeline. We're projecting into the future our thoughts, our emotions. We're feeding that timeline. So that timeline exists very strongly. If your twin, on the other hand, is also feeding that same timeline, it has a much higher probability to come to fruition. You can change which timeline you're feeding as well. So you might shift and say, you know what? I, I didn't really like certain things about my twin. And, and I don't really think it's a healthy relationship. I don't really know if I would be happy. And, you know, all these. And then you're, you're feeding another timeline of, you know, I think I'd rather call in a soulmate, somebody who's more of a vibrational match to me. I don't think I want to be with my twin. You start feeding this other timeline. And if your twin is feeding that timeline too, there's a likelihood that the two of you will, you know, um, be on a timeline where you're not coming together. So you're, it, it, it's, this is a very complicated dance that you're doing with your twin because you can be feeding the same timelines. You could be feeding different ones at different times. I really didn't know this um, video was going to go in this direction. I told um, my higher self to guide me and, Lo and behold, I'm, taught, I'm adding new elements to it that I didn't expect. So this is really fun. Um, you're getting what you need as the audience, and I'm the conduit for that information. So I, I really um, have been guided to make Twin Flame videos. Haven't done that in two years, and I just made one yesterday. And I have a list of about seven more beyond this one. Um, to make so I told my higher self just guide me I don't know what um, needs to come forward but I'm having an extremely strong uh, unrelenting push to make videos for twin flames and there's new information coming through so what I thought I was going to be talking about which I'm going to get to about timelines and our shifting moods and attitudes I'm going to still talk about in this video but it's interesting because I'm being guided to share how we feed our timelines with our twin um, or without, meaning we're both feeding, nourishing, you know, projecting energy 
sending energy into different timelines throughout each day, throughout over days, months, years. It's really interesting um, how this plays out with twins because as you know, you, the, the twin flame journey is like, it's like a roller coaster and it's always changing. And it's like, oh, well today I feel this and it's different from how I felt yesterday. And um, so let's talk about that. Uh, I'll talk about that, I should say. Um, so the beginning title of this is your changing moods and attitudes. So the moods are not only yours. And I'll get back to the, to the timelines too in this video. But let's go back to the moods. So throughout a day or over many days, your moods might change. So some of those moods are your moods. Some of those moods are your twins' moods that you are feeling. And so, you know, I, I would recommend taking more of an observer position. So um, sort of like lift up and out and away from yourself and become the observer a little bit of yourself and say, oh, you know, I'm observing my feelings I don't know if it's mine, I don't know if it's my twins, but I'm going to ride this and not attach to it and cling to it and define it and have it define me. Oh, well, now I'm this, now I'm that, must be, and then, you know, make it mean everything to you. Oh, well, it's over now. We're done. <laughs> How many times do you tell yourself, it's, we're done, it's over. Um, to only wake up the next morning and find out <laughs> I'm still a twin flame. I'm still stuck in this. <laughs> Can't really escape it. Um, even as much as you want to. So just accept <laughs> you've got somebody else along for the ride in life with you, um, whether you want to or not. Now, in a future video, I'm going to talk about stepping out of the energetic bubble of being in the twin flame dynamic. So I don't know when that video is coming out. Um, but it's not forever. You can be released from this chaos or fluctuations of being within the twin flame dynamic eventually. But while you're still learning intensely, you're going to be in it. So while you're in it, you're going to have moods that change and fluctuate. Now, the other part of the video is about attitudes. And I'm talking about your attitude toward your twin. So we might have hate, we might have love, we might have, um, you know, holding them up on a pedestal, we might be dropping them down off of that pedestal throughout the day, weeks, months, and so why are we doing that? Um, it goes back to the timelines. So, oh, it's so complicated. How do I put it into words? It, it's literally the the time that you're on is vibrationally matched to your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions. And so when you shift your, you know, even slightly your mood or your, your feeling, you're going to, you're actually jumping onto a new timeline. So on that timeline, oh, my twin's pretty cool. I, why was I even thinking so negatively? Why did I think, um, you know, X, Y, and Z? Uh, now I'm feeling pretty open-hearted, loving, caring, accepting. And then later in the day, you might be back on an, on a different timeline that you have created, that has been created, but it shifts and change with, changes with your, with your um, emotional state. You're not only dealing with timelines that exist for you, you're dealing with timelines that exist for your twin. So you might be going on about your business not even thinking about anything, and all of a sudden, you feel something. And it, it's because your twin just had a shift or a mood uh, or an event that, and they might be thinking about you too, and suddenly you're energetically or magnetically um, pulled on to feeling that. Uh, that doesn't necessarily change your timeline, but it, or it can, if it, if you're pulled strongly enough into a shifting emotion. Okay. Like I said, timelines are vibrationally based and emotions are vibrationally based. So if you're very high vibration, very uplifting mood, 
you're going to be on higher timelines, higher creations that are um, higher meaning, <clears throat> more positive for you. House of water. Um, so throughout day, the day, throughout, you know, multiple days, weeks, months, years, you're actually hopping onto different timelines throughout periods of time and shifting back and forth. Okay. You, it's not static. It's dynamic. That's why there's so much change in, you know, where you are in your twin flame journey over time. And so you're not just a regular person dealing with your own uh, timelines, moods, attitudes. You're dealing with two. So it's ex you know it's exponential in the in what you go through as a person, and that go gets into other categories of how we can clear for our twin flame, um, clear emotions. We can shift. When we change our energy, thoughts, um, really, we can create some massive shifting and changing for our twin. So, I'm just seeing if I talked about everything. I hope it wasn't too confusing. Um, so, I'll just... We are on multiple timelines with our twin that we've both nourished and fed. The ones that have been fed the most will be created. The ones that haven't been, they'll, they'll fall away. If you're creating, um, if you're on a timeline, if you, you know, with your mood and your feelings where there's a lot of grief, sadness, anger, or um, pushing your twin away with those feelings, you're keeping your twin away. So uh, twins are like magnets, okay? So we have the end of the magnet that attracts, and we have the other, the opposite end that repels. Um, what attracts is, would be, Love, acceptance, forgiveness, unity, caring, unconditional love. What would repel and keep your twin away, keep you away from your twin, would be um, anger, fear, unforgiveness, you know, holding grudges. So... So it's important to know you are creating the manifestation of your twin journey. A lot of it, though, is orchestrated by your higher self. Actually, all of it is. I can't say all of it because we, we do have to take accountability for ourselves. So I'm going to take that back. Not all of it. It's a co-creation. But some of the major twists and turns uh, on the twin flame journey are orchestrated by the higher self for great reason because the higher self knows what your soul has decided to get out of this experience and it will do whatever is necessary to create that experience and you can think and wish and pray for certain outcomes. But if that is not part of what your soul decided to learn in this life, <clears throat> nothing will change that and your higher self will orchestrate what is necessary. I think there was another piece of information that wanted to come through. So... I might have to make another video if it comes up because I can't think of it right now. 
I do, I do think there was something else to say about this topic. Oh yeah. Okay. This is the other part that I wanted to bring up in this video. We are in times of acceleration. Uh, we're experiencing more within condensed time. It's as if time is speeding up and the shifts and changes are happening rapidly. And it's, we are jumping timelines more quickly. We can be sh shifting and moving through timelines in multiple times per day or over periods of time. We are discarding some t outdated timelines that n no longer need to manifest that are a lower vibration as we raise our vibration. So even though we're shifting and changing, our timelines with our twin are merging more and more, weaving together more and more. Um, and, you know, that doesn't mean that that twins are going to come together or that all twins are going to come together when I say merging timelines. It, um, it could mean that for some. Uh, and it could mean a dropping away or falling away of um, twin flame connections. They're never completely disconnected at all. They're going to stay connected, but um, there might be more of a moving on energy. So, and being over it, you know. And so the times that we're in now, what is this day? To, let's see, September 24th, 2017. The, the time that we're in now, this fall into the winter and moving forward, <sighs> You cannot fathom the changes that are coming. And it has to do with this accelerated shifting of timelines and merging of timelines and falling away of old ones so that we can come into coming into unity more as humanity, but and we're it's complicated. We're 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 there's a splitting for humanity of two time, two major timelines, a higher and a lower. So, oh, it's so complicated. I, 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 I can see it and feel it and know it, but it's very hard to put it into words. Um, it's an accelerated jumping of timelines, and then it's gonna become an accelerated merging of timelines, solidifying, and it's going to be, for humanity as a whole, there's this, it's this breakaway. Okay. So the ones who are at peace and in love do end up on this higher one. The ones who are in fear are on the lower one. The, this split happened about the time of the eclipse in August. I could feel it and it is happening. It's kind of solidifying more and more. Uh, it's pretty much already happened, but because our world is quantum, you can jump onto the higher timeline. I think even if you're listening to this and you become, your consciousness becomes aware and you become aware of yourself, you can choose. So my recommendation is choose the higher one and see what manifests on there, uh, on that timeline. And that is one in which you can have more freedom of creation and emanation of your true soul self and uh, connection with your higher self in terms of manifesting that which you desire that is in alignment with your soul. Well, I think that's the end of this video. Many blessings to everybody and I love you.